Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today it's December 4th and I'm starting the vlog off kind of late today. It's already like almost 6 p.m. I didn't vlog myself like walking around New York City today because I just had too many stuff in my hands. I had plans on going to Soho to go to Gentle Monster, which there's a little sneak peek bag back there. I did pick up some sunglasses or a pair of sunglasses while I was there. Um, just the classic her style one. So that's going to be really cool. I'll show you guys on camera in just a second um and also i had the inspiration of making emily mariko's salmon bowl today so i had to go to h mart and also sunrise market which is a japanese market here in new york city um they probably have it elsewhere too but i had to go get the kewpie mayo i already had soy sauce but i had to get like salmon and rice and all of that basically i spent i think around like 70 dollars on groceries not everything for emily mariko's um salmon bowl but like a good portion of it was for that so that just shows you how expensive groceries are in new york city and plus prices have been rising like crazy so i'm gonna do a quick grocery haul for you guys and then a quick gentle monster haul maybe and also show you guys the process of me making emily mariko's bowl and yeah hopefully this is a good vlog Alrighty, so this is kind of like a low angle but i have an h mart haul for you guys and also a sunrise market haul the only thing i got from sunrise market was the qp mayo which is extremely important for our emily mariko salmon bowl so let me just unwrap this so this is the first thing that i got very important the second thing everything else is from h mart so i got the Kalbi shrimp chips, I love these. These are not Korean or Jap. Actually, I don't know what these are, but I love these. And I got the sriracha mayo, I guess, uh, flavor. I grew up living on these, so I have to get some more of them. I got some bread just because breakfast, and also I love Asian style bakery bread, so. I got some Skippy peanut butter just because my peanut butter is like super old right now, so I wanted to replace it. I got sriracha, which is very necessary for Emily Mariko's salmon bowl. I got two wee yogurts, the peach ones, because I've been having a craving for ice cream, but because I'm going to Aruba at the end of the year, I'm trying to be good. So this will replace my ice cream urges, hopefully. And then, you know, ramen, because I have to. I got the Shin Ramen. I just got them in the kind of bowls because um, I sometimes just have so much work that having these is like a really fast lunch almost. I also got myself two clementines. They're super cute because they still have the little stem on them. But I love these. I think I'm going to have one before I start actually like cooking because um i just i'm like so hungry right now i've been running around all day i'm gonna keep this trash bag i also got two apples i got fuji apples they're ginormous like i don't even know if you can tell on camera how big these are i think this is like a good scale of reference right here <laughs> these are like these are like fuji apples like on steroids but I love Fuji apples and I love eating them with peanut butter um, with like a side of bread. So, and then I got kimchi because Emily Mariko has that in hers. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh no. There is one thing I forgot, guys. I forgot the seaweed chips. Ugh, I'll get that next time. So, I got the salmon. Oh, I was really looking forward to that. I feel like that would have really made it. Do I run out to the store and get some more? I forgot that. I could probably run out to the store and get some more after I'm done like cooking basically. Because there is an Asian market around the corner from me and I feel like they'll sell it. So no worries guys, crisis averted. And I also picked up the Nishiki Sushi Grade Rice because we got to make some rice. That is my grocery haul. Um, so let me put this all away and then we'll start cooking. Oh, also before I start doing anything else, I just want to show you guys this beautiful fruit bowl. It's from Crate and Barrel and I think it's so cute. Um, I just like haven't had like a place to put all my fruits and I actually eat a lot of fruit. I'm gonna buy some bananas as well from the store later on just from the American grocery store because it's a little bit cheaper than the Asian supermarkets. But I just wanted to show you guys. All right, so we're gonna start off by first 
making the rice and I brought out my trusty little dash um, mini rice cooker for this job and I thought this is so cute and I actually really like this cooker it's not like the best rice cooker I've ever had but it's pretty good um, so I have to get my scissors scissors Very important, we gotta first like wash this rice. There's my rice cup. So I don't really have like a rhyme or reason of how I cook this. It's like, I'll show you guys how I do this. Basically, I'm gonna do like one and a half cups of rice to two cups of water. Now I got to clean this, so very important to rinse your rice always. You want to give it a good like, slosh around because you don't know what's in your rice. over it and then we're just going to start it and now this baby is cooking okay so you might hear the rice cooking because the camera is like right next to the rice cooker right now so if you hear a little bit of a sound of fizzing that's because the rice is doing its job but we're gonna prepare the salmon and this was such an expensive salmon from H Mart this was literally twenty dollars and twenty four cents for this how insane is that um, but I don't want to eat the whole salmon today, so I'm gonna like split it into probably like quarters and then eat it throughout the week. So hopefully this is like worth basically every meal five dollars worth of salmon. Um, and not all salmon is this expensive. Honestly, if you go to like Whole Foods, it's definitely way cheaper. It's just because I was ready in H Mart and all the Asian markets are so expensive. So open this baby up. I like the, the fact that it comes in like a little sushi platter though. Take this out. Take this baby out. The skin's already off of it, which I'm fine with. I'm just gonna cut it into quarters, so. And Season all that. All right, so I'm gonna season the salmon first with some salt, some pepper as well. Maybe we throw in some paprika. Oh, I've never used this paprika before. I think people usually season it with paprika, right? I think so. Little bit of paprika, why not? Doesn't hurt to throw in some lemon. This one's like super hard. And uh, maybe we do some soy sauce as well. Although this is already probably pretty salty, so I'll just go easy on the soy sauce. All right, so I'm gonna let this marinate because this looks real yummy. Look at all that. Okay, so while I'm letting this marinate and also letting my rice cook, I'm actually going to run out to the store again because I forgot very, very crucial elements like the nori chips. And also, maybe I'll just maybe I'll just conform and I'll just get avocado as well. Um, but I might as well run back to the grocery store near me, which is still kind of pricey, but not as pricey as H Mart and stuff. So I know they sell nori chips there. I can definitely get it. And maybe I'll just get like some bananas and stuff while I'm there as well and see what other stuff they have. I finally got... The seaweed, very important. So I got two boxes of this, luckily. And I also got um, a few other things that I needed. 
on medium. Get some olive oil. Drizzle it into the pan. So my rice is all done. Look at this rice goodness. Yum. And what we're going to do is we need to loosen it up a bit. Get a healthy portion of rice. And then some of the salmon. Put a little bit. I don't think she put rice vinegar, but I want to over my rice. Just for a good flavor. She put in soy sauce. She kind of mashed it up prior to doing this, but I just want it to look kind of aesthetic. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it this way. And then I'm going to mash up. Um, she kind of like mixed it all into her rice. There it is, just a little sideways. Like this. You know, mixed it a bit, and then I'm gonna go like so. All right, this is my first taste test. Mmm. She's smart. This is good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. A plus. I wanted to do a quick little haul of my Gentle Monster Sunnies. Um, they have such a cool store. I'll insert some clips like probably right here or so about my experience in store and just so you guys can see what the New York Soho store looks like. But it comes in this big box like so and it just opens up. It's really cute actually. Their case is like a pouch almost. So like it, I guess you could kind of use it like a small pouch but they change up the colors every year. So last year it was white, which the sale associate was telling me a lot of people actually didn't like the white that much. But this year it's black. Um, and next year they're going to change it again. But this is the pair that I bought. This is the Gentle Monster Her model. This is like one of their most popular ones. The one that um, whoever that K-pop star is uh, wore in Crash Landing on You. But this is what they look like on me. They definitely will slide a little bit, just given my nose bridges on the smaller side or the flatter side rather. Um, she could have adjusted it a little bit more, but I told her not to just so that I can see and see how I like it. But this is what it looks like on. It's extremely oversized and I think it just looks so sleek and so like bougie almost. They kind of look like Celine sunglasses because they have like the three little dots, which I thought that was interesting. But um, I just love how flat yet mirrored they are. And also part of the reason why I bought these is because I can be a little bit more um like harsh with them they're not like wire framed so i don't need to be as scared about having these on while i'm at the beach or anything like that which is actually why i bought them because i bought them for my trip to aruba um but they just like look so classy like walking around new york city with these sunglasses on you just look like a classy woman basically walking around so absolutely love these and they're actually a really decent price i think 
these were 281 with tax included so not even over 300 dollars which is honestly a steal when it comes to sunglasses hello guys sorry it is the next day it is december is it fourth now if yesterday was the third pretty sure it's december oh i'm sorry it is december 5th today so i am really bad at vlogging clearly i it's already like 2 30 in the afternoon which is quite late let me set you guys down here so i don't make you guys all dizzy i feel like this vlog is a compilation of me literally going to the grocery store because i just went back to the grocery store have another little haul for you guys but it's just because i realized yesterday after i made emily mariko's like salmon bowl that i didn't get enough nori chips so I got three more because I realized I eat like the entire thing in one go. And then while I was there, I saw some yellow kiwis that I thought I would treat myself to, especially just to keep myself safe during this flu season. Not that it like repels the flu, but anything to help. And then I thought that I would also treat myself to some more clementines with the little stems because these are so good and they're just so much better than like the halo ones or the little cutie ones. So I love these and I just thought that I needed some more. All right, one of my first things that I plan on doing is to replace this eucalyptus mess right here. She's a little bit dried out as you can tell. So I got myself some fresh eucalyptus and also there's a difference so when i had bought this i got it from a florist and they only had like very small eucalyptus that day versus this one here you can see the like the leaves are way thicker and much prettier and i prefer these kinds of eucalyptus over these smaller ones so i'm gonna cut these up and see what i can fit into this baby but i love this vase and that's what i plan on doing next These are gorgeous. Look at how beautiful these leaves are. Oh, I love how just thick and beautiful these ones are. I'm going to bring my baby here. These are all dead and need to go. So, we're gonna throw these away. These are pretty long and if I were to put it in right now, you can see that it would be way too tall and it would hit into the top of my kitchen cabinet. So we're probably just gonna have to cut off probably like down to the one, two, like in between the second and third leaf. So I'm just gonna take this. Is what she looks like some fresh eucalyptus i just think she looks really like fabulous and regal and i have one extra stem left that i'm probably gonna put into my shower i currently have some from that are really really old so i'm going to replace those and probably cut this into two strips and then put it in my shower and i'll show you guys all right so this is what i do in my shower i just put the new leaves here and i love the scent that they give out um, once you start steaming up your shower and whatnot, but that's what my shower currently looks like. All right, guys, I am having a very big errands day, clearly. So I just got my other package, and basically what's going to happen is all of these shoes. I really love this Yamazaki shoe shelf thing that I have. It's, like, very sleek looking, um, but I realized that I have, like, all these little booties, and I want another shelf for them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Alrighty guys, so let's do this. Alrighty. So this is the adjustable shoe rack that I bought. It is by the brand Yamazaki, which they actually do sell at West Elm, but I got this from Amazon, but I discovered it from West Elm. This is nothing. 
another one of the feet, one of the rods, oops, one of the other rods, and I think that's it. So it's like a really simple setup. Um, it's very, very intuitive. So obviously the ones with the pads go down on the ground. And it comes with all of the little screws and little metal pieces that you'll need. You get a screw, you input it. Oh, actually you do not need a screwdriver because you can just twist this in. That's how I did it. And then you just start twisting it in while holding it in place. Voila. All right, one leg in. See, see how easy that was? I'm just gonna do it for the other side now as well. That fits just perfectly. Look at how much cleaner this area looks. Hello guys. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick makeup look tonight because I am getting dinner with my boyfriend. We are going to a Korean restaurant, a new one in Lower East Side called 8282. So I just got out of the shower and I'm going to throw on some Sikapair Derma Green Solution. This is the thing that went TikTok viral um, like recently. It basically neutralizes your redness. So I guess right now would be a perfect time for me to show you guys so i just take this much amount and i just dab it into like the locations where i'm red so maybe this will give you guys a good example so that's what this side looks like obviously it's still a little bit red just because it's not going to cover all redness but you can tell that this side definitely looks a little bit more neutralized versus this side and naturally i'm redder right now just because i did just get out of the shower as well um so my face looks very very ruddy right now so i'm just gonna use my dior uh what is this the dior forever skin concealer and i apologize if my camera has a really hard time focusing i don't know why um but i'm in the shade 1cr so i'm gonna take this and just do some dabs and then also a few on my cheeks just because i still am a little bit red I think that's about as much makeup as I'm gonna put on tonight. Fantastic. So that's pretty much it for my face. And then what I'm going to do is contour a bit because my face is quite round. I'm gonna use the Anastasia. This is actually a foundation stick, but this is in the color Mink. But Basically, it's just like a very neutral brown, and I just use it almost like a cream contour. So I'm gonna go like this, and this, and by my nose to create more definition. And I'm gonna take my Chanel Dual Ended Concealer Brush. There's one side that's fluffier, and I like this for blending out my contour around my nose area. It's also really good for blending out concealer, especially if things get patchy, but because I used the Beauty Blender today, I don't really need to use this. Um, and as for the sides of my face, what I like to take 
is the Chanel, what is this, a kabuki brush. This one is like a to-go kabuki brush. It has a cover. And I just take this and I kind of blend it out first, but then I blend it upwards so that it doesn't drag down my face. And that pretty much completes the face, like creams and stuff like that. Now we're going to move on to brows. So I use the Dior Show Brow Styler in black. I'm actually running... Oh god, I'm running real close to being done with it, so that's not good. I need to make sure I order some. And I also take an angled eyebrow brush, and I kind of like... The intensity of it is determined by how much makeup I'm wearing, but tonight I'm not going to be wearing a lot. So let's go on the lighter side. The last thing I'm going to do is put on some highlighter, so I'm going to take the uh hourglass is this hourglass hourglass oh no sorry becca becca champagne pop and i'm gonna put it into the tip of my nose and also my nose bridge to accentuate it and also kind of like fake a higher nose bridge type of deal we're gonna take the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i really like this i'm kind of running out so i think i need to buy some more and just let that set into my face and that is pretty much it for my makeup all right so first thing we're gonna do is brush out my hair i'm also going to use the ori bay gold lust oil again what is wrong with this camera um i just use this because well first of all i love the brand i love ori bay i love all their products i actually use the matching um shampoo and conditioner i got a really good gift set during the sephora holiday vib rouge sale um so i got like a one of their gift sets that had the shampoo the conditioner and the oil for probably like 75 85 90 some dollars um, then I have a T3 paddle brush, and I'm just going to brush through my hair. She is beautiful. Ta-da! So I'm going to use the set, and I actually use a good amount of the heads, and I will show you guys how I use it. The first head that I use is the uh, hair dryer attachment, and I'm just going to roughly dry basically my hair up to probably like 85% because it works better when it's a little bit damp but mostly dry so alright so my hair is like 70% dry and I'm going to get it to 85 with this uh, paddle brush attachment it kind of moves with your hair and so it smooths it out um, in a very soft manner Okay, so that's done and now begins the fun part of curling my hair. I only have 30 minutes, so let's see if I can get this done like ASAP. I usually would like section off my hair, but because I'm in a little bit of a rush right now, I'm going to do this like really, really ratchetly, I guess. Um, let me just section off the bottom portion of my hair versus the top and we can just start off like so. All right, I'm going to take one of the long, I mean, not the long, one of the thicker barrels and we're going to use it. The arrow that you see on the screen is the direction in which the hair will naturally curl. So. You got one curl. All right, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my head. All right, guys, this is what it's looking like so far from the back. I can't personally see, but I think it looks pretty, I think. <laughs> I can't really tell, but I'm gonna work on the top sections now. Um, and what I'm gonna start off doing is curling some of it because it's a pretty big section um. Now 
this front piece right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the round brush attachment and we're gonna go over it for a more blown out look. So we're gonna take this. And that, my dear friends, is how I blow my hair out. Now, I'm going to just clean it up a bit. Like so. And look at that, guys. It's a fully blown out hairstyle. Super, super fluffy. But yeah, this is what it looks like. My hair looks super shiny, super glossy show you guys in different angles i love this all right guys so this is my outfit of the night i'm just wearing the aritzia black effortless pants they are the cropped versions they kind of just look normal for me not so cropped um i'm just wearing this black inner uh heat tech shirt from uniqlo and then i'm wearing this rabbit fur um vest that i actually got in taiwan so I don't know what boutique it's from, but it is 100% rabbit fur and I absolutely love how soft it is. It is so well made and I just think it's a very dark outfit, but I'm going to dress it up with some gems and jewels, like gold tone jewels. So yeah.